أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the gracious, the most merciful In today's episode, we will be examining the fourth chapter from the Holy Quran The Woman or Surah An-Nisa, the second largest chapter within the Holy Book, with 176 verses. This chapter was revealed in the holy city of Medina, when the Muslims were settled and established. And now they were ready to take on internal challenges. That is why the scholars of tafsir and exegetes believe that the title of this chapter in itself was revolutionary at the time of the Prophet, in a time and place where women had no rights, where women were not able to live with dignity and honor. Women were disrespected within the home and within their societies. However, Islam came to abolish all sorts of discriminations. Of course, within this chapter, the rights of woman, the treatment of woman, the position of woman in Islam and the Holy Quran are outlined. And of course, issues related to woman, such as family issues and family bonds are also introduced. Therefore, this is a chapter of extreme importance and for Muslims until today. Why? Because until today we find all sorts of discrimination and injustice against women all around the world. Women are still paid less than men in almost every society, let alone the women that are taken as modern-day slaves and human trafficking and the injustice that takes place all around the world against women. Muslims, believers in the Qur'an, must be the pioneers to seek justice for them and to stand up for their rights. Let us begin with the very first verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala draws the most important principle gender equality ya ayyuha an-nas taqu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahidatin wa khalaqa minha zawjaha yes in islam men and women have different roles different responsibilities even in the acts of worship however allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the very first ayah, says, Ya Ayyuhannas, even though this chapter was revealed in Medina and it should speak to the believers, but no, Allah wants to tell the whole people, all of His creation, regardless of their background, Ya Ayyuhannas, O the children of Adam, O human beings, Attaqwa Rabbakum Alladhi Khalaqakum Min Nafsin Wahida. You all have one soul. وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا And this soul is paired one for the man and one for the woman. You all go back to one father and one mother, Adam and Eve. And therefore you are equal in creation. وَبَثَّ مِنْهَا رِجَالًا كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً And from those single parents, then God created all those offsprings. And in the third ayah, of course, one of the most controversial, misunderstood verses from the Holy Quran. فَأَنْكِحُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَثْنَى وَثُلَاثَ وَرُبَاقَ This ayah permits polygamy. Permits a man to have more than one wife. And of course, this is an extremely detailed discussion, brothers and sisters. We cannot give justice to this topic in less than one minute. However, don't look at things from your own perspective. You may be sitting in London or New York or LA and you're very happy with having one wife and having a family and having 
a peaceful home. And Islam does not deny the fact that the family comes first. Your children comes first, come first. Therefore, you should never do anything that jeopardize peace and tranquility at home. However, we must look at the Qur'an from a bird view, from a bird eyes view. Um, look at, for example, a country like Iraq. Five million orphans, one million widows, if not more. They, all, they don't just need a sponsor to pay them a uh, hundred dollars a month to feed them, but they also need fathers and they also need mothers and they also need mentors and they also need a family and they also need love and they need siblings. And Allah in the next ayah speaks of having to pay the dowry to woman, not to delay the dowry of woman. It's once you have to pay her dowry, once you have to pay her mahr, then Allah emphasizes on this extremely important point and he says you must pay their dowry unless they discount that for you or unless they give up the right of inheritance of, of of dowry and then it is okay for you not to give that back in the 19th verse Allah says ya ayyuhalladhina amanu la yahillu lakum an tarithu nisa'a karha you may not inherit woman Women are not a mean of inheritance. Yes, in the Arabian Peninsula, women were inherited like any other belonging, like a horse or a cattle or a house. The eldest son of the father would inherit multiple wives and he would turn them into his slaves and his servants. So God does make reference to that as well. One of the most beautiful verses, verse number 36, وَعْبُدُ Allah advises the Muslims and worship God. وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا And do not take partners with Him. And that's in our belief and our practice. Then, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ أَحْسَانًا And then kindness to your parents. This is what God wants from us. وَبِذِ الْقُرْبَى And then your family and kin. وَالْيَتَامَى And then the orphans. وَالْمَسَاكِينَ And those unable waljari dil qurba and your neighbors waljari junub and your near and your further uh, uh, neighbors meaning your neighborhood take care of them love them show them kindness and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was sahibi bil junubi wa ibn sabil wa ma malakat aymanukum inna Allah la yuhibbu man kana mukhtalan fakhura do not be arrogant. Spread love and show love and, and humanity to others. And that is the message of the Holy Quran. I would like to also point to the 40th verse. Inna Allah, la Allah does not do injustice even if it is the smallest amount Verse number 95. Are not equal those who do jihad with their time and with their wealth and they give everything for the sake of God and those who are just sitting there and they're just doing their daily prayers and, and supplicating to God. They are not the same in the eyes of God. Those who struggle, those who give, those who care for Islam and the religion of Islam and for the Quran and Rasulullah as if they care for their own selves more than their own selves and their children. The verses in this chapter are plenty and they are extremely beautiful and unfortunately our time is up I ask you brothers and sisters wherever you are to make sure that you feel the spirit of this chapter the spirit of the Quran and you stand against all form of injustice wherever you are until next time I leave you with the protection of the Almighty God Wassalamu alaikum. <laughs>